To make the pizza base, we need 2 cups of maida or all-purpose flour, 1 fourth cup of water, half teaspoon of oregano, this is optional, 1 and half teaspoon of active dry yeast, 1 teaspoon sugar, some salt to taste, half teaspoon oil, here I've taken some cornmeal or makke ka aata. We are going to use this to roll our pizza dough, but this is optional. You can use plain flour instead of this. For the toppings, we need all this. So here I've taken one small red bell pepper which is sliced, one small green bell pepper or capsicum, one fourth cup of sliced black olives, one small onion sliced, One eighth cup of boiled sweet corn and here I've taken cheese slices you can use two to three cheese slices in this pizza these melt very well so I use cheese slices and this is a 200 gram pack of mozzarella cheese and I'm going to use around 60 to 70 gram of this you can use any brands mozzarella cheese but remember to use pure mozzarella it tastes better than the other mixed cheeses some red chili flakes and oregano. We are going to top our pizza with this at the end. For the sauce, here I have boiled together 2 big tomatoes, 1 big onion, 10 cloves of garlic and 5 Kashmiri red chilies for 15 minutes. You can skip Kashmiri red chilies and increase the amount of red chili powder. But these Kashmiri red chilies gives the sauce a very beautiful natural red color. And we need some crushed black pepper around 1 4 teaspoon. 2 tablespoon of tomato ketchup, some salt to taste, half teaspoon of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon sugar, half teaspoon oregano, and 2 tablespoon of oil. Now let's take a look at the recipe. We'll first activate the yeast. For that, take 1 fourth cup of warm water. Remember the water should be warm and shouldn't be hot, otherwise, the yeast will not froth up. Now add 1 teaspoon of sugar, give it a good mix. Now add 1 and half teaspoon of active dry yeast. Stir it well. Cover and keep for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and you can see the froth, the yeast has bubbled up. If this doesn't happen with the yeast you're using, you should not go ahead and use that yeast. That means the yeast is either expired or is bad for some reason. In a bowl, take 2 cups of maida or plain flour, add some salt to taste, half teaspoon of oregano, Give this a mix. Now add the yeast mixture to this. Give it a mix. I prefer using my hands to knead this. So I'm getting my hands into this. Now add a little water at a time and make a dough. The dough should not be very stiff and should not be very loose. Uh, like medium soft dough you need for this pizza base. Now I'm going to knead this for 10 to 15 minutes. Doing this will give your pizza base bread a very good texture, very airy and just like uh, the pizzas we get outside. While kneading if you feel the dough has become dry you can add a little bit of water. It's been 15 minutes, our dough is ready. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of oil on it. So take half teaspoon of oil, apply it over the dough, put it in a bowl, cover with a damp cloth and keep in a warm place for around one hour and you'll see the dough doubles up or almost triples up in size. 
Meanwhile, we'll make the pizza sauce. So for that, I've boiled together two big tomatoes, one big onion, ten cloves of garlic, and five Kashmiri red chilies. This has come to room temperature. Remove the skin of tomatoes and the eye portion. If you want, you can skip Kashmiri red chilies and increase the amount of dried red chilli powder. But use of Kashmiri red chilli gives the sauce a very beautiful natural red color. You can discard some water if not needed. Now grind this into a smooth paste. Look at the beautiful color of this sauce. In a pan, heat two tablespoon of oil. Once the oil heats up, add a little bit of masala. Now add half teaspoon of red chilli powder and fry it for a few seconds. By doing so, we'll be able to remove the raw taste of red chilli powder and because we added a little bit of puree, will not burn the red chilli powder. So saute it for a few seconds. Now add rest of the puree. Cover and cook till the sauce thickens a bit. Now add half teaspoon oregano. 1 teaspoon sugar, 2 tablespoon of tomato ketchup, some salt to taste, give it a good mix, cook it for a few more seconds and the sauce is ready, let it come to room temperature. It's been an hour and you can see the dough has tripled in size. The amount of time taken by the dough to rise depends on the temperature. So in your city it might take more if it's cold or if it's humid. Knead this dough for a few more seconds. Now divide this dough into two portions. I'm going to take a little more than half because of the size of my pizza tray which I'm going to use. So if your pizza tray is big, you can take the entire dough. So I'm going to roll this dough, cover with a damp cloth and keep it aside for 10 more minutes. Only 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you'll see the dough will rise a little bit, not much. Now lift it gently and sprinkle some cornmeal or you can sprinkle plain flour also. So with your fingers keep pressing and rotating the dough and stretch it at the same time. You can use your rolling pin as well to do this. Now I'm going to put this in the pizza tray. You press the pizza along its edges like this using your finger. Now add some pizza sauce. Put some pieces of cheese slices. I'm using processed cheese slices here. Now put some mozzarella cheese. You can grate the cheese but I have cut this cheese into small pieces. Now put some boiled sweet corn. Some red bell peppers some green bell peppers or capsicum, onion slices, some sliced black olives. I love adding these. A little more pieces of processed cheese slices. Now this pizza is ready to be baked. So this is the oven setup we are going to use in a big kadhai. I have taken some salt. Place a ring or some kind of stand on it. Now cover it with a big plate. So our homemade oven is ready. This oven has been heating on high flame for 15 minutes. So it's preheating. Now I'm going to place a pizza in it. Place it gently. Place the lid back and bake this pizza on high flame for 10 to 12 minutes. It's been 12 minutes and our pizza is ready. Look at the beautiful pizza. 
I don't know if you can see from the camera but the edges at the bottom have turned out beautifully golden in color. Now we are going to serve this pizza. Roll your pizza cutter back and forth so that you do not ruin the toppings. Now add some chili flakes and oregano and enjoy the pizza. Oh my god, look at the stringy mozzarella cheese. Look at the texture of the bread. You can see air pockets. It has come out beautiful. The crust is a little crispy and soft on the inside. You must give this recipe a try. Enjoy!